Okay, so this is super fascinating. My friend sent me an article the other day about the Tora Doyle prop. I hope I've said that correctly because I've shot this so many times. Anyway, a few days later after reading the article, some videos started surfacing on YouTube from those who have redesigned this and have actually tested this. So what is the Toro Doyle prop all about? So I'm going to summarize the article that I've read, but if you want to check it out, there's a link in the description box down below. Essentially a team at MIT have designed and tested this new prop design that has advantages in air and water that has both a noise reduction and efficiency. Great. Now the reason for them wanting to test this is that the current traditional propeller, as we see here, this is a traditional prop, it's very noisy, which we know because if you have a DJI Mavic, which sounds like a swarm of bees, or you fly an FPV drone, it's just got that high pitch whine, which I kind of like personally. So they end up going talking about the future of drones and eventually when drones start delivering in towns and cities and you just have a, a drone coming along and delivering your Amazon parcel with your FPV parts, kind of funny. They say that they don't want all this noise to disturb the urban environment. If you live in a city, it's noisy with the construction, the traffic, the sirens. Anyways, the theory of a quieter prop and more efficient does sound good. It sounds very good, especially if you're a drone pilot. We could do with f flying more with our FPV drones if we could have a more efficient prop. Who doesn't want another five, 10 minutes flying? What we'll do is we'll take a quick listen to MIT's video where you can hear a notable reduction in noise from a traditional DJI prop and the Toro Doyle prop. Figuring out what are the things that are making, uh, that's making this propeller quieter. Uh, the key thing that we thought uh, was making the propeller quieter. And essentially the way this works is that over a traditional prop, if you, if you know uh, how aerodynamics work with plane wings, essentially the same thing. Just imagine one of these blades is a plane wing and the way airflow works towards the end, uh, these vortices are generated, which is what's creating that, that noise essentially. And then with this new prop design, the Toro Doyle prop design, the vortices are generated across the whole of the wing rather than that at the tip. And we can see again from this uh, CGI video, uh, I think it's a CGI video. Basically we can see from this CGI generated video how these vortices are generated. He also mentions how the noise dissipates a lot quicker so it doesn't last in the lot air longer. But then he says that you can do this with traditional props with guards and ducts, which we know we have seen in the past. But as we know, that when you add a duct or a guard, it does change the characteristics of the way the drone flies. So far, MIT have discovered the advantages of this is that there is more thrust and there's more structure stability within the design of the prop, which kind of makes sense, it looks stronger. Uh, and it has a decrease in prop cutting. So you're less, you're less likely to get injured with that prop because it's more rounded compared to this, which is something kind of sharp. So far, the drawbacks to the Toro Doyle prop is the design where it's a little bit more complicated to manufacture. There's obviously a lot more material, so that could add more cost to the prop. Even though props aren't the most expensive thing on a drone, so it won't be that significant as they say. They have patented the design, so they don't know what they're gonna do with it, whether they're gonna event commercialize it or just license it to manufacturers. It's still early days. Now let's talk about some of the early testing that has happened from the YouTube community because I think this is where it's gonna happen first rather than waiting for MIT to do anything about it. So a YouTuber by the name of Ashton, his channel is Striking FPV. I highly recommend to go check out his videos. He's actually blown up, so congrats to him where he designed, redesigned the concept of MIT's Toro Doyle prop and made this design available for free on Thing and Printverse. Again, there's links on his channel where YouTubers have taken those and started testing this theory to find out if uh, it's more efficient if it's, and if it's quieter. Don't take these tests from other YouTubers completely scientific, but more as a guide to what to expect because we don't know how MIT have tested theirs or have been able to test their design. However, we can get a good idea of how this is faring up so far. But any feedback you give to 
any tester or YouTuber is only going to help with development to see if this, these Toradoil props are going to be a viable option. So for one of these first YouTubers you need to go check out is Quad Erat Demonstratum. That, that's a mouthful, but what I'll do is I'll link the video in the description box down below. Go check out his video where he does a bench test and he shows the amp draw, uh, the noise and the efficiency. So the second YouTuber who, who's actually tested and flown Ashton's design goes by the name of Willet Mod. Again, in the description box down below, links to his videos, and he has tested designs one and the second iteration of Ashton's Toradoil prop. It, it flew, it works, and we can hear a, a slight noise reduction, but it doesn't seem efficient. It acts more like a five blade prop rather than a well, a three bladed prop because it's got more surface area, which kind of makes sense. And more recently, I actually just saw this video today by Recursion Labs. He's done a more scientific bench test. You, you'll see the results, how this Toradoil prop fares in both version one and version two. So after watching all these videos from other creators, here are my thoughts and what I have noticed is that there is a noise difference. I don't know if it's as significant as what we heard from MIT's video. Making this propeller quieter. Uh... And also it's not as efficient. If MIT were, was to design this prop to make it quieter or more efficient, but from what we have seen so far, what benefits will this have in drone delivery well, it's just not gonna fly far. It won't make it to its destination. So I can't see how this will be viable. Surely you want a drone to fly over long distances to be as efficient as possible. Also, one thing that we haven't really thought about yet, which I can't do, I'm still not experienced enough in the FPV world to do this, but if some, this is maybe for someone to go out there and do, currently FPV drones are tuned or have a PID tune uh, for the traditional prop. What if someone can go ahead and do a PID and rate tune on the Toradora prop? Will that make a difference? Can we improve noise and efficiency in that way with a tune? So it's still early days, but it's fascinating to see how the community have already gone out, designed and tested this prop to see if it's going to be any better. Let me know you guys thoughts. Have you heard of the Toradoil prop? And if you have, have you done any testing so far? What are your findings? I'll be glad to see it as well. Check it out. I, I want to know myself personally. It's always interesting to find out the development of drone technology. So I think that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it informative, drop a like for the algorithm. It does help boost the video for the algorithm and it helps other drone users in the community to see this video, whether they have seen Ashton's video or not, it will just help lead one to another. So much appreciated there. Subscribe for more drones, photography, and everything in between. I try and cover interesting topics on drones. I, I will eventually get to photography. I'm just waiting to move back to Toronto. Yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed this, maybe you'll find this one interesting next. Have a good one. Peace.